So we learned how to turn our files into libraries, connect them to sites and how to consume ready-made designs as well as blocks and edit them to our liking. But what if we want to go a little more into the core and change things like color, typography and maybe the components themselves? So let's jump back to our library because you can actually alter that completely to your branding. In this case, you do need some basic Figma skills. If you don't feel comfortable with Figma, then jump over to moonlearning.io where I have a basic Figma course to get you started. The important parts to understand will be components, variables and styles. So let's say we want to change our colors. You can see here, I have an overview of all the colors, but they actually live in the variables. So right now, and by the way, this file might look completely different by the time you look at it, but it should have a similar setup. So have a look at the right hand side and you should see the variables panel. And in here you have a drop down, and so you should be able to find the colors. So let's say you want to change our red here to just a purple maybe, then we can change this over here. And by the way, there's also a dark mode set up for you. So now let's go back and you can see that everything changed to the purple. So the entire setup is changed to purple. In our styles, so the text styles, you can see that this is also set up for three different breakpoints. And you can see over here some pictures that I took. So this is the text styles that you should see. And again, it might look slightly different by the time you look at it. And we have some variables. The place where you actually find them, and this is the same for this picture here, this stays in red as this is only a picture of the variables. So you know what you're getting. So our styles, if we click on the canvas background, then you can see here that this is our styles. And if, for example, we click into the display, we can see all the settings. Now you can see some elements are set up with variables. So if we have a look at our variable collections and we change from color to typography, then in here you can see the font is defined and the sizes. So just to play with this, if I wanted to change the font for all of them, I would have to change it here. And um, Figma has all Google's fonts pre-installed. So I'm just going to use Inter and I'm only going to use it for the desktop for now so we can see the difference. And then here I'm going to use a very ridiculous huge size so we can also see the difference. And you can see that this is now changed across all our elements. So now this is happening in my library and if I want to have this in my sites file, I would need to update this library. So you can either go to assets, but if you have an update, you also see it in files, see a little bubble here, and then just make sure to publish and you can see how many changes you have. Now over here, you would usually add a nice description. I'm just going to jump this for now and then simply publish. If you're dealing with a large library, this might take a moment, then jump over to your sites page and whenever it's updated, you can see a little bubble here as well. Now you can review the updates and simply click update all of them. And now you can see that it updated everything for you. So this one here is an inter now and all our elements that were previously in the red highlight color are now in purple. If you want to make any changes to our components, then this is the same. You can simply switch this around. For example, let's say we're flipping the image on the other side. You will see a little update here and we will now be asked to update this library. So you can alter all of those components and you can, of course, also add new components. Little tip, if you add the components on a section, which you find down here, then this is going to create this little subfolder for you later on in your blocks library in the sites. And then you can just add elements in the way that this was set up. The important part to actually get them imported the right way is that your variants, so this is a component set with variants. Again, if you don't know about all of this, jump over to moonlearning.io and take the beginner's course where I explain all of this in depth. So you can see here that the variants are called desktop, tablet, and mobile. And this is how the breakpoints are set up in such a way that if you drag one over, it's automatically gonna set up the correct breakpoints for you. So make this all yours and let me know what you've been building. You can get the full template and further information on moonblocks.io. This is a project by Moon Learning.